As residents of Appalachia, we welcome members of the press, friends and supporters, and passers-by to this press conference. My name is Alan Johnson. I live in Pocahontas County, West Virginia, a non-coal producing county noted for its pristine water, fabulous scenery, and booming tourism industry. But not all is well with many of my neighbors elsewhere in my state and surrounding areas such as Eastern Kentucky, as you will hear shortly. I'm with an organization, Christians for the Mountains, that involves faith-based people in advocacy for God's creation. I will begin by paraphrasing a passage of scripture from the Bible, a portion of Psalm 24, which will be our prayer. O oh Lord, the earth belongs to you. Indeed, everything that it contains, the world and those who live in it. For you have founded it upon the seas and established it on the streams. Lord, who will ascend to your mountain and who will stand in your holy place? Those who have clean hands and pure hearts. Those who do not lift up their souls to what is false. Who do not act deceitfully under oath. It is they who will receive your blessing, O Lord, and vindication from you, the God who saves. Amen. 115 years ago, our nation was controlled by major corporations. The Gilded Age saw major discrepancies between the wealth of a few and the poverty of the working class. Government in many areas was bought. William Jennings Bryan stood before the Democratic National Convention as a representative of the common people of America and concluded his address by crying out, you shall not crucify mankind upon a cross of gold. I speak to you today about a cross of coal. Today as we speak, Appalachia is crucified on a cross of coal. According to current Gallup Healthway studies, the three congressional districts with the highest concentration of mountaintop removal coal extraction have the worst physical and emotional health in the nation. Our fellow humans crucified on a cross of coal. Some of these speakers personally know their many neighbors who are sick, impaired, dying, or dead, crucified on a cross of coal. While the coal industry touts the jobs it creates, in fact, Mountaintop removal largely replaces workers with machinery, jobs crucified on a cross of coal. Large coal corporations such as Massey Energy routinely flaunt safety and environmental regulations, while government regulatory agencies too often have been lax. Without government protection, we are crucified on a cross of coal. The EPA has begun to take steps to protect the water and air that people might live. To that end, we thank them and urge them to do more, much more. Yet our congressional delegation, as the puppets of King Cole that they are, push back hard against the EPA. These congressmen from West Virginia I name as Senators Jay Rockefeller, Joe Manchin, and Congressman David McKinley's Congresswoman Shelley Capito and Congressman Nick Rahal, our West Virginia legislature, and Governor Earl Ray Tomlin represent the coal industry, not the Appalachia that is being crucified on a cross of coal. Those areas where mountaintop removal is occurring are having severe population drops, up to almost 20% per decade. Entire towns disappear. These populations are among the most impoverished in the nation, victims of the cross of coal. Coal drives out other business investment. After all, who wants to set up where there are constant explosions, dirty air and water, overloaded coal truck traffic, and short-sighted compromised local and state government? 
the central Appalachians are among the most biologically diverse temperate regions in the uh, world, among the most beautiful, with a rich cultural heritage, gifted and endowed by God, and being crucified upon a cross of coal. We call upon the EPA to take a firm stance against coal-related pollution as their sacred pledge promise and trust to do true Appalachian homeland security. And right now our homelands are not secure, crucified upon a cross of coal. We call upon Congress to support the EPA in its mandate to protect the waters, air, and land of this great nation in covenant for generations to come. We ask that the American people understand that it is wrong to get dirty energy that kills people in Appalachia upon a cross of coal. And that our fellow American citizens demand that justice indeed triumphs and that the cross of coal be no more. Thank you.